I'm back. Um, did not go eat lunch, but I did do some things in between. So I was just on here just a little bit ago doing a patriotic Mod Podge. Um, so I'm going to do something different now. And again, it's another experiment for me. Um, I've not done this. And I am wanting to do this possibly at a children's little party that I have next month. And, uh, or actually I think at the end of this month. So I wanted to test it and see, um, you know, what it's going to, how it's going to work, what it's going to do. So what I'm doing, I've got an 11 by 14 uh, canvas that we're going to work on. And by the way, my name is Pam Savage and I am owner of Young at Heart Creations do all kinds of creations, mostly with painting, um, and I teach classes or teach at paint parties, not really classes, but paint parties, and so if you want to have a paint party at your place, your home, your office, your church building, your school building, wherever, or for a bride and her attendance, we could do a paint party and do a really pretty initial or something like that. Just no limit to what we can do, so just let me know and we will get that scheduled and um, see if I have a date open because we've got a, a lot going on. But let me show you what I've got going on here. Um, just just the thin board, uh, just a simple canvas. I got it at Dollar Tree. And so I just want to try this with some kids and I was just trying to pull some colors together for like if I were going to put it in my decor. Now a child's going to pick their favorite colors and what I love to use, um, I painted these oh last year I think or a couple of years ago. Somebody um, in another group suggested it and a great idea but I paint all of my paint colors that I have back here and I need to catch up because I've got some back here that I don't have uh, in my little popsicle stick, uh, stick stash. Say that three times. Pop popsicle stick stash <laughs> okay um anyway so i have all different colors here and i've painted the front of them and then on the back i not only put the color of the paint but i put which brand it is because i have several different brands back here uh, on my wall in my holders and um so i'll paint it on the front and then i will put on the back this one is deco art plantation pine and another thing i love for these is sometimes i think okay where's my color where's my color i will take the stick and i will just match it and it doesn't take me long to find uh you know which color i'm wanting and it's it's going to be up there and there it is uh, so I use these a lot for picking out which, which colors go together and uh, just kind of helping me. It just helps me to visualize a little more. So I, I even do them for the kind of glitter. This one is Deco Deep Space Blue Galaxy Glitter. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Um, so that's just a tip and if you don't have time to paint them because it is a little time consuming but I would just sit every night uh, when I, while I was watching TV um, and I would just spread something out on the coffee table so I didn't get it anywhere and as I was watching TV I would just sit there and paint them and then write on the back of them um, but if that's not something that you have time for or you don't like doing things like that um, what a great kid project you know cover that dining room table or garage floor whatever uh would would work for you and that way you've got something to keep them busy they feel like they're painting and that they're having a really fun project but it's getting something done for you okay so the colors that i've laid out here are um oh i've got light lime cactus flower these are deco all of these are deco but one i believe uh spa blue yellow let me bring you down here yellow i have a lot of turquoise in my bedroom and in here so and then i've got laguna just a little bit different shade they look almost alike but they're not they're different so uh agua sky and i didn't have a stick for this one and this one is deco art aloe so it's a little pastel green kind of like a, a pastel okay so what i'm hoping that i hope this is going to work again this is a an experiment for me so you guys are getting a lot of experimentation from me today so this is the second time i've gone live 
I want to thank Rhonda Hunter. Um, she goes to church with me for the live that I did about an hour ago. She was the inspiration for that one from the, the little gift she gave me. Hi, Miss Edie. Um, so here's the color scheme that I've chosen for this that I'm going to do. Now, a little girl, she may, she may choose pinks and purples and a uh, little boy may pick army colors. Who, who knows? But that's what I'm going to, this is what I'm going to go with today. So the first thing that we're going to do, keep your fingers crossed this works. Again, I've, I've not done this. Uh, I did it years and years ago, but so I don't know how it's going to work out. We'll see. You're also going to need, since we have a white background, you'll need uh, some white paint for the, the white. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Uh, so I've got my white out here as well. And you're going to need some painter's tape. Um, I've got, this is all I've got of this width. So I've got some that's a little bit wider. We'll see how that works too. So what we're gonna do is just start peeling off strips and just making some uh, shapes with them, square, triangle. We'll just see how it ends up. So I thought this would be fun for a child, so um, we'll see. So I'm gonna bring you down here so you kinda see what, I can, what I'm doing, or what I'm trying to do. So I'm just gonna pull it off, and I want it to go across, uh, pretty much go across the uh, width of the canvas, I think. Oh, I don't know. We'll just have to <laughs> see how it works out. Okay, so I'm going to put a piece here. And I'm not even painting this. Um, if I, um, if that doesn't work, the next one that I do, I'll, I'll paint something on it. So I'm going to pull, so we do not need it exactly the, the length or width of this. We're just going to do different different shapes here. You want to make sure that it's your tapes down good. So we're going to want short pieces. We're going to want long pieces. You could also use different shapes and put them down to where it didn't paint on it. And I don't even care that that the edges are not straight, that they're, because that's just going to give us another texture. You can have large spaces, small spaces, really doesn't matter. Just want to make sure that those tape edges are down good. Probably going to run out of, some, of that. A little bit smaller one here than that edge. And there's really just no rhyme or reason as to the shape. Where they end up, they end up. up with here. Uh, let's do one down this way. Get a little bit of that ragged edge there. This may turn out to be a complete flop. <laughs> I don't know. It's just today's experiment. Tip it Tuesday. Here's your tip for Tuesday. Be brave. Step it outside your comfort zone. And have enough tape when you're going to do this. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of the, the wider just to give it some something different. Let's put a little bit of the white over here. And see how they're overlapping? That that's perfectly okay. I think. 
we'll, we'll know here in a minute. All right, let's go back to the narrow. I do want to remind you that deadline for sign up on the painters event that's in on August the 28th here in Sherman. It's a one day event from nine to seven and it is for the beginner painter. It is for the advanced painter. It is for, I mean, if you've never painted before, whoops, that's not the one I wanted. If you have never painted before, that's okay. We're gonna go step by step. We're going to do a Christmas project, and then we're also going to do a fall project. We'll have a tutorial in between. We will have two meals, lunch, and then dinner or supper, whatever you call it. <laughs> we won't get into that. Um, I guess it depends on where you're from. I call it supper. Um, but we'll have two really good meals. I'll have a craft booth there. We'll have a photo booth. We will have door prizes all day. We, the grand prize is a Cricut machine. And um, there will be so many women there that love to paint or are wanting to learn to paint. And um, they're just looking so forward to meeting each other. I'm looking forward to meeting you. If I have not, I'm just looking so forward to some time to just sit down and paint with uh, friends that I already know, friends that I haven't met, but I've been talking to you online. Um, just so many ways we've connected and I just think it's going to be so much fun just to talk to each other and get ideas from each other and learn about each other. Um, where you're from? What do you do? Do you have a business? Do you just paint for fun? Um, is this your first time and you've never painted? Um, just some different, different things, uh, just ways to connect. And so we have, so far we have people from... Uh, we have ladies from Oklahoma, from Kansas City, and then several from Texas um, that are coming as well, different parts of Texas. And um, so I am so, so very excited to meet everyone. And I just think it's going to be such a fun day. Um, but the deadline is June the 30th. If you, uh, I just want to make it clear because there was some confusion on this. Uh, once you register and pay, it does say, you know, um, no refund on your money uh, because I have to buy everything and pay for everything up front. Uh, but that is only if you sign up and then for some reason you cancel. If you cancel for some reason, then you, you don't get a refund. If I have to cancel for some reason, some reason, um, you will get your money back. I mean, if the venue were to close or if, uh, heaven forbid, I were to get ill or, or something, you know, anything, anything on my end, if I have to cancel it, uh, if we don't get enough people, you know, I'm still needing about 20 more people. So if we don't get enough people and I have to cancel, then um, you definitely will get a full refund. So please don't let that scare you. Some people were very confused about that. That will be just does not want to stay down. So let's help him there. So um, don't let that stop you. Because you will get your money back if I have to, you know, if I have to cancel. But everybody was thinking, well, I don't want to spend that money. And then for some reason the uh, event get canceled and I don't get my money back. That's not the case at all. So just, just know that you will. So we're going to have a cute photo booth set up. And then um, you'll have time to visit as well. You will have goodie bags that are going to have some very useful things for you um, in there. And then the door drawings. Um, you'll be in both the door drawing for just the regular door prizes that we'll have that day, but also um, for the 
grand prize. We'll have the grand prize drawing, and that will be for the Cricut. For every person that you refer, um, and they put list you as a referral, that you're the one that referred them, you will get an extra ticket placed in the drawing for the Cricut. So if you get 10 people, 15 people to sign up, that's 10 or 15 extra tickets that you get towards that. Okay, so here's what we've got so far. Looks like a mess. Now I could keep going, but for time's sake, I'm just I'm gonna leave it at this. I do want to kind of separate a little bit right here. The edges just a tad. Okay, I've got my edges down good. Now, you want to take whatever your background color is. If our background color was black, then you want to take black. If it were purple, you'd want to use purple, but our background color is white. So we're gonna go with the white, and we're going to paint along every edge that's touching the board, that has an edge touching, that you can see white next to the edge because that's going to seal that edge and then the paint color that you're gonna paint on it won't come through, won't bleed underneath the paint. So that's a very good tip as well if you are going to be painting a wall uh, and a ha on a house or furniture or anything that um, you want to do stripes or something like that. Anything that you're using the painter's tape for, paint along the edges with your base coat color first. So we're going to use a three quarter inch flat. My bristles are already still a little bit damp because I was just using it in the live a minute ago, but I've got it cleaned out. So I'm just gonna go along each edge, just gonna get on that flat edge and just going to really get it up under that, just on each edge and I'm painting kind of towards it just to make a little ridge just enough to seal it. And this isn't 100% uh, foolproof, but it sure helps. When you go to rip that paint, I mean the painter's tape off, it's really very helpful. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the whole thing here doesn't really matter because we're going to have other paint over it. But I'm just smoothing it out more than anything. And it doesn't take much, but you can kind of tell when it beads up around it. Now, that's a little bit easier on wood or a flat surface, as you know, a canvas has little dimples, little dips in it, and sometimes it's a little bit harder to do this, to seal it, to make sure you get it all sealed off. So you could do this to match the colors in your home get a little more paint. A baby nursery. I don't know, a little bit of any place. And again, you could use different shapes to just lay on here and paint around them to get a, a whole different look. And we're just gonna kinda see what we end up with here. Because to be honest with you, I am not sure yet either. <laughs> so that tells you how comfortable I've gotten doing lives because it is very nerve wracking to do lives. Because you're like, oh, I'm gonna mess up, I'm gonna mess up. I'm gonna look so bad in front of hundreds of people 
But you know, I've learned that we all learn together. And if you're never willing to try anything new, you're not going to learn. I haven't done any paint parties with boys. All my little paint children's paint parties have been with little girls. And there's just so many things that, um, now some of this tape is not sticking real well. It was an off-brand of paint, and I should have known better. I mean, tape. So we might have a little bit of bleeding, but it's the tape. It's not this process. It's just not sticking real well to this canvas. I think this was Dollar General tape that I had gotten for something else. You could go with really bold colors. You could go with your school colors. And what I'm doing is just sealing these edges to help to try to help prevent bleeding underneath when we start to put the colors on. Now the canvas that I have for the kids, um, they're eight by tens or eight by 11 and a half. This is an 11 by 14, but I got a little bit smaller one because they will be doing a second project as well. That's a little more detailed. So this will just get them kind of warmed up. All right, let's see if there's any place I missed, and there probably is. Okay, I think all the tape has some white around it. So we should be good. Now typically I would let this dry just a little bit longer than what we are here. But let me go ahead and I'm gonna uh, hit it with a dr hair dryer right quick. See if we can speed it up. Oops, I see some paint that needs to be thinned out. You don't want any blobs on there. Okay. Now you could texture this to have a, a whole different textured look. Okay, so let's just start with some colors. I'm gonna start with this dark one. This is the Apple Barrel Laguna. It's a dark teal. Hey y'all, keep your fingers crossed. would also be fun to take different shapes and make some different shapes on here. So I'm just going back to that three quarters inch brush. Now this time, when I'm painting, I'm gonna kinda of come away from the edge of the paint. So let's just start right here. Oh, that's a pretty color. And 
it'll take two coats. Go down here to the end. Now I've still got some pretty thick right here that's that's wet with on top of the paint. I mean on the tape. Um, so I don't want to mix that in. And this is an edge section, so I'm going to go ahead and do the edge on it. These uh, canvas boards were just a dollar at Dollar Tree. Well, let's put one. Pretty big one. Let's put one. Let's put one right up here at the corner. Okay, so it's going to take that just a minute to dry. So we're going to go ahead and go on to our next color. some of this um, cactus flower, cactus flower pink. You want to make sure you don't have a lot of water in your br uh, brush when you're doing this. Okay, let's we'll start down here. It almost looks like bubble gum. That piece of tape didn't want to stay down there real well, so it's kind of it's kind of coming up. So I'm just going to kind of paint under it a little bit. Let's put one right up here across from this one. You want it to be really dry when you pull it up. on that one. Especially on a canvas, if you don't let it get dry enough for a few minutes, it will um, it will tend to peel the paint up. Has been my experience in the past anyway. I uh, posted a little sneak peek of one of the projects that we'll be doing at the live event. So post on there if you have figured out what it is. Okay, so I think this one's ready enough that I can put another another coat over it. Before my paint dries out on it. Oops. I'm going to pick 
in there. A little bit more. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but it is relaxing. And I like the uh, anticipation of what it's going to look like, I think. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I probably need to go check my blood pressure. That's a really pretty color. Okay, then we've got it down here. I've done one oil painting in my life. It was a mount mountain scene with um, a lake and pine trees and rocks and flowers. And it was fun. It was different. But it takes it like 7 to 14 business, uh, business days. 7 to 14 days. Um, you can tell where I worked at a bank. Um, to dry. And I'm just so impatient for it to dry. I, you know, I want it to dry right then. I'm ready to look at it. Ready to hang it. And you just can't do that when you're working with oils. I'll put another coat on that pink. More of a coral, really, than it is a pink. David and I went to Lowe's and Home Depot last night trying to find the flooring that we want. And still having trouble getting things in the stores. So they said it would be um, a couple of, couple of weeks before we could get it. Well, our contractor's not going to want to wait a couple of weeks to put our floors down. So we're going to have to go with plan B. Go pick something else out. I don't think it's going to be the color I wanted, but it'll be close enough. Okay, now let's go with this um, aloe green. It's almost like a olive, I guess. Olive green, but it's called aloe. Some of you have gone to art school are probably a whole lot better at putting what colors go with each other together than I am. I do have a color wheel though in those uh, popsicle sticks. That trick helps a lot. I would consider this probably abstract once we get done with it. I do think I want it. Another little piece of tape right there. I'm not going to worry about sealing it. I'm just going to be very careful. Different. I think where the colors are going. Okay, still kind of looks like a hot mess, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's see. No judging till the final product. All right, who hopped back on here with me? Hi, Cindy. Hi, Jane. And Tammy. And Miss Edie was on here earlier. No, it's uh, it's. Deco Art Aloe, A-L-O-E. It's really pretty. It is, it is like an olive green, but it's called um, Aloe. Okay, I'm going to let that green dry a minute, and then we'll put a second coat on it. Let's go with some yellow. All right, I'm going to bring you back down. 
thank y'all for hopping back on here. I typically get on here between 6 and 6.30. Now, I did one an hour ago, but our contractors are coming this afternoon instead of this morning, so I'm having to kind of rearrange my schedule. So if you're watching for the first time, and I talked to a lady today that was going to be on here for the first time, uh, please know that um, I do get on off and on um, during the week during the day but typically on Tuesdays it's between 6 and 6 30 when I do my um, lives yeah, this this one's a fun shape let's do this one yeah let's put some yellow I'm gonna separate one more spot because it's got such a huge area Now, these last two, I didn't put the white down first, so not sure what we'll get there, but we'll see. This painter's event was um, kind of not really a last minute thought because I've thought about it for quite a while, but last minute decision because of COVID normally it's something I would would have planned out much earlier and, and more than likely have made it a, a two day but um, I didn't have time to find a location with with mom and everything that was you know going on um, I didn't have time to really find a, a good location to do it here that that I could do a two day um, so that's why it's, it's a one day, but if the one day goes really well, um, I will very much consider doing a two day next year. Lord willing. I'll just have to kind of see how it goes. Okay, so let's go with, um, this is Deco Art Light Lime. So it's on a little bit of the lighter side before I do that. I'm going to go ahead and put a, another coat on that teal. Now, painting on canvas is quite different than, or the feel of it, um, than painting on wood. It does take it a little longer to dry. I've never used these canvases from um, Dollar Tree, but I thought for a child's party that they should they should work just just fine. Okay, I think three coats is going to do it for that. And um, you can also with these canvases you can seal the canvas first, which is what I will do before uh, we have our party. I'll go ahead and seal it in. And it should have better coverage um, with that. Well, let's go ahead and put some more of the olive green. I think it's plenty dry enough to get, put a second coat. Now, I'm not really being careful with the direction that I'm going this time because it should be pretty well sealed around that, that tape. Well, this would be, this aloe green would be a good color if little boys want to do like camo. So many little boys are into the camo. Okay, so we only got two of that color. And I think the peach is going to be just fine. And the yellow is going to be good. Just one coat on those, which surprises me. Yellow usually takes more than one. Okay, so we're going to go with this uh, light lime. Very light. Oh, but it's pretty. It'll help kind of contrast the dark colors that we have. Put 
it won't appear on the speaker. Get a little piece of tape hanging over there, and I'm not going to move it. I'm just going to wait and see, see what it does. I think one coat of that lime is going to be all we need on it. Seems like the, the lighter colors are covering better than the dark on this. Okay, I'm getting all that moisture out. Okay, so we've used that color. We've used Aqua Spa. We have not used the Aqua Spa yet. Ooh, should I put a little bit of black here and there in it? Hmm. Tell me what you think. Should I put a spot of, of black maybe in a couple of small ones just to kind of set it off? What do you think about that? There's a small one I could put black in. There's a small one. I can make that one a little smaller. This one small or smaller. Okay, I am going to put just a little bit of white under those two if we're going to do black. So, what do you think? A little bit of black or leave it all pastel? What do you think? Good and small. Get that sealed good. Okay, what do y'all think? A little bit of black in it or leave it just the, the pastel -y colors that we have? The yellow that I used, by the way, is Deco Art uh, Banana Cream. I like it, and I'm almost out of it. I've got to go get some more. All right, let's do a couple of our other light colors, and y'all be deciding on the black. What do you think? A little pop of black here and there? Okay, this is Aqua Sky. Let's see, do I want to use Aqua Sky? Let's go with sky blue first and see what that looks like. This one hasn't been opened yet. To get the little wrappers off of your lids, don't try to tear it or pull it or turn it like it's gonna open the lid. Go against, close the lid as tight as you can, twist it and pull up and it'll come off every time. Okay, that's a pretty, pretty light blue. I like that. Okay, I am seeing a little bit on this uh, dark teal. It needs a second coat, or third coat actually. Okay, so we're going with the um, Spa Blue, which is one of my very, very favorites. My bed, whole bedroom walls are painted a little bit lighter than this, but um, I just love the color. It's so soothing. Okay, and let's put some put right there, and then we'll do a different color here. Mm, that's a very pretty color. 
Let's sneak another one right down here. And that's an edge one. Yeah, I was kind of afraid with the black too. Now, outlining it in black might might be something. I don't add a lot of black to most of the things that I do. I know a lot of people outline everything in black. And um, some things I really like it, but I don't like it on everything. Especially if it's something pastel -y. Pastel-y, is that a word? Okay, and then the other blue is Aqua Sky. This is also Deco Art. So we've got three different shades of the teal or aqua color. And let's do a big one here. Oops, I got that over in the green. I went over the paint on, I mean, over the tape on that. And we can paint over it, that's fine. That's a big space. It wasn't broken up a lot. Now you could just use like the three or four different colors of the, the teal, just the different hues of that and not have the other colors in it. Uh, there's just really no end to how many different color combinations you could do. Oops, wrong color. You could even go back and shade each of the colors. That would give it a whole different effect. Does anyone have any questions about the painter's event? Um, I've been getting some emails about it and um, some excitement about it. So if you have you know any questions at all, please let me know. I will be more than happy to answer any of them. Okay, let's put another one right there. Just remember that that grand prize is a cricket machine. And for every person that um, you get to come, that um, you get to register, if you refer them, you tell them about it, make sure that you have them put your name. There's a line on the registration form that says, I was referred by. Make sure they put your name, and we're checking each form. Uh, we had one yesterday that had a referral, so she, that's one extra ticket that she gets in the drawing for the uh, Cricut. And um, if you have 10 people, if you have 20 people uh, that put your name down as a referral and pay and register, um, that's 20 extra tickets in that bucket for you for that drawing. If you bring two people or one person, that's an extra ticket for each one of them. We would just really love to have you. I know it's so far for for so many of you, but if you're close enough and would like to spend the night, that Friday night, so that you would be here and then just drive back Saturday, you could leave a little early. We're going to, um, the last part of the day will be winding up if you didn't get your project finished or visiting with uh, anybody on business stuff or just visiting, getting pictures. Um, so if you needed to leave a little earlier, you sure could. Or you could um, drive up that morning, and if you wanted to stay in a hotel that night and not drive back uh, that that evening, you could do that as well. Oh, we got a spot here. Here, let's see what color do we want to do that. We did the pink. Hmm, is it one we haven't used yet? Okay, we got that one. Oh, no, that's too bright. Okay, let me look at another. I think we're going to need one or two more colors. Let's see. 
While I'm thinking about it though, let me go ahead and put another coat on this light blue. What color do you suggest? With this color palette, now I know the blue is throwing you off, but with this color palette, what color would you put with it? What's another color or two that you would add? Oh, I like that color. there that's okay let me just bring it down some on the edge and it'll look like it was meant to be and we could also leave some white in it all right I'm getting a little bit of this darker color again it just keeps bleeding through probably should have sealed it first, but I was trying to save a step. You know what happens when you usually try to set, do shortcuts. This is would be really pretty in the little pinks and purples. Okay, there's the only two spots on that one. This one. All these colors are close together and I keep wanting to dip in the wrong one. We've got several in our congregation where I go, uh, go to worship that are so crafty and some that are just artists. Um, first one that comes to my mind is um, Maggie and Molly that go to church with me and they are just so creative and then Oh, I don't want to start naming names. I'll get in trouble. But anyway, they're young, and it's just so nice to see them all being artists. We've got one that's, uh, she's eight years old, and she is amazing when it comes to painting and drawing. And So I just love seeing all of that. Okay, y'all have a suggestion for another color? Light purple. Ooh, okay. Let me see what I got here. Apple barrel lavender. Ooh, that's pretty. Good suggestion. Good job. <clears throat> Let's see what it does. All right, so I got it's apple barrel and it's lavender sachet. A little spot there that I need to do too. That tape's coming up on me right there, so we may have a few spots on here. So maybe using the Dollar General painter's tape is not real good for this. Oh, that is pretty. I am one that loves, loves repetition at work. I mean, if you want to bring me a stack of papers that I need to separate into p different piles, correlate them, I could sit and do it all day. Love it. Now, some people, that would absolutely send them into a frenzy. But I love anything that's repetitious. I, I just really, really enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to... Add 
let me look back here. I think I'm going to add this. It is Anita's and it's light coral. It's a little bit lighter than this other coral that we use. So just got a couple of more spots here. So let's um, see what that does for us. This would be very pretty to go in and shade each one, but I do not have time to do that today. Okay, I think that fits in pretty good. Go ahead and get the edge. Do we have another one? Oh, right there. I knew there was one more somewhere. Okay, I'm going to hit this with the hair. Oh, there's another one. Let's go ahead and just use this color since I've got it out. I'm going to hit it with a hair dryer and put one more coat on it, and then we'll do the reveal and see what happens. <laughs> I'm really not sure. All right, hang on just a minute. extra coat on those that we just did. Okay, so purple. It's a pretty, pretty purple. I think that's why I like the repetition. I think that's why I like doing the batch painting where you, um, you do several of the same thing at a time. I think that's why I enjoy that so much. And then when you get done, you sit back and look at it and go, oh, look how many of those I did. Okay, that coral needs a little more. Uh, another thing, uh, those of you that are coming to the, the painter's event, um, if you have a business, please, please, by all means, bring your business cards, any flyers that you have, if you have a Facebook page, uh, any information at all on your business, even if it's not paint related. Um, any, if you own your own business, um, please feel free to bring that to the painter's event and promote it. Um, you know, to those around you, we'll have a time where you can uh, share business cards. And what we've done before is just leave your business cards on the corner of the table. And I will announce, you know, anybody that um, wants to do that, go around and, and pick up a card from each person with your information on it. Uh, that is, uh, I very much want you to feel comfortable doing that. We gotta look out for each other, don't we? These small business owners. It's been a it's been a tough year. Okay, I think we're good on the coats now. On this, so I'm gonna dry it one more time, and then we're gonna rip it off, just like a band-aid. It's either gonna go real good, or it's gonna hurt. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see if I can get it picked up.
Okay, are we ready? Let me put my popsicle sticks back up. Okay, let me get you down here. Okay, now that one bled through a little bit because the paint's just not sticking, I mean the tape's not sticking down. If you get the regular painter's tape, like at Walmart, not the Dollar General kind, you shouldn't have much problem with it. Oh, that one's off on the edge. Starting to look kind of cool. Okay, that one's got one over it, so I'm going to do that one first. That one's over that one, and this is the one that had the little piece sticking out, so we should have a little white piece there. Yep. Good. fingernails to do this <laughs> or something to, to get it lifted up okay now this little yellow spot right here was on the canvas when I bought it so I don't know what that's from but that was already on there this is almost as much fun as bubble wrap popping bubble wrap <laughs> peeling this tape off to get the ones that are over overlapping other ones first it just makes them easier to pull up and you still got a little bit of bleeding here and there but again it's where this tape just would not stay down I did um, buffalo plaid not too long ago on wood and use the good kind of tape and I did not have any bleeding whatsoever. It was all so crisp. And you can go back with your white and kind of touch it up a little bit. And you may like the where it's all jagged. It doesn't bother me. I kind of like it with this kind of abstract uh, style anyway. You could do your favorite colors. You could do the colors that are in your room. You could do your school colors. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what colors the kids choose to use. You could outline it with, like this color, you could outline with a darker blue. You could do a Harvest Gold and Outliner Shade, each one of these. There's just so many things you could do with it. I kind of like it. 
It's just different. And this was just the first one, so um, trial and error. But I want y'all to see that because I have so many comments, so many times, people that will, um, followers that will private message me, how do you always get your stuff so perfect? It is not perfect, I promise. And I, I just practice and, and do things like this, and I just wanted you to see that, you know, it doesn't always turn out perfect. Um, never turns out perfect. But um, this is the way I learn. I just do it, and then I tweak it for the next time if there's something that I didn't care for the first time. Some of these almost look like states. That almost looks like the top of Texas. That almost looks like Oklahoma. Let's see, did we miss any tape anywhere? Yep. Okay, that's where a piece of tape was over it. So I think that one I am going to go ahead and add that color in just a little bit. Whoops, it's got water in it. Don't want that. A couple of coats and that'll be just fine. Okay, and you can make the the spaces larger. You know, we kind of made them small. We put quite a bit of tape on there. So you can make them larger. You can do stripes. You can do plaids, whatever. But I just think it's so much fun. Now, we could go in here and put, um, hmm, let me think. We could put, and that's the fun part of it, because you get to look at it and you think, well, what if I did this or what if I did that? You could take your little um, pouncers. Now this one's a little bit big. I don't know, it would fit right there. And you could put some polka dots in it. And I might play with that later. I've got an appointment, that's why I'm not gonna do it right now. But you could put, uh, you know, little polka dots in it. You could put buttons in it. There's just so many different things that, um, that you could do. So it's very abstract, but I think it's something that the kids might enjoy. It was very relaxing anyway. Thank you. So it, it's different and it's just, you know, really, really abstract. Um, I think with the kids, we'll probably do larger spaces so they're not having to use so much tape uh, and you'll have, you won't have as much white, but I'm going to go in and do something with the white. Um, and I will, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but once I figure it out, I'll try to hop on here and we'll do it together. So, and I love to see, oh, I like to look at the shapes and see how many different things that, um, you know, I'm one of those cloud watchers and I see clouds and I'll see, and I'll say, oh, look, that one looks like a, a butterfly. That one looks like a dinosaur. Look, that one looks like this or that. And my husband goes, how do you see all that? And then once I point it out to him, he's like, oh, it does look like that. So I like to see what I can find in different, different shapes. Um, Anyway, there we go for that. I hope that was helpful and something that you might could do with your grandchildren. You could do it again. I'm doing the smaller. Uh, it'll be a smaller one. Uh, you could even paint the background of your uh, piece, of your canvas. You could paint it a, a solid color and then do different colors. If that's the color you wanted to show through instead of the white, you could do a, a light color on it or you could do a dark color and then do light colors you know, on the tape, haven't tried that. So that's something else that you could do. So this one turned out that way. I've done one way, 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 way back in the, the past that turned out very close together. We, we did them real small. Um, it's been years ago, so I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out on this kind of canvas. It's pretty rough, this one is. But again, it's just from Dollar Tree, just a dollar. So if you're doing it with grandkids or, or birthday party or, or something like that, you, um, you know, you don't want to spend a lot for the, the kiddos 
it's probably going to end up under their bed. You never know. <laughs> but anyway, that would, I think it would be a great paint party idea. I am going to use it at the one uh, as a second project for um, the kiddos. And we will just see what we end up with. And we'll take a picture and we'll put it on Facebook for you. Well, I've got an appointment in town at 3.30 and it is almost 10 after 3. So I've got to get moving. Thanks so much for hopping on. And you guys, please, if you don't mind, please, please sprinkle uh, the information about the painter's event. Um, keeping my fingers crossed that we get 20 more women so that we can make it happen. Um, if there's anything at all that you have a question about or you're not sure about, please don't hesitate to email me. It's My email is young, my business is young at heart creations, um, but the email is young heart. The word at is not in there. So it's young heart creations at iCloud.com. Or you can private message me on here or instant message me. Uh, most of you have my phone number. You can text me. Please let me know if you have any questions. But most of all, even if you can't come, please uh, let others know about it. Because I know there are so many that just don't even know about it. And so I've been trying to get that word out. And Facebook will uh, like this live. Um, I have nearly 500 people following. 200 of you might see this live. Um, and they may may reach out to 200 or less so not sure why it works that way but it is so it's word of mouth that that helps with that but you guys have a wonderful day the contractors are going to be here in less than an hour and it's about to get super noisy in here and my walls are going to start rattling <laughs> so i've got to get to town i enjoyed so much being with you i cannot wait to meet you guys that have already all signed up um in person i just cannot tell you how much i'm looking forward to that so Hope it comes through. Um, let me know if there's any questions you have about helping. Oh, I do too, Cindy. I wish you did too. I know it's so hard for some of you so far away. Um, the one I'm going to in September is going to be about four hours away from me. So, um, But that's not very far for me. I, I'm going to take my paintbrush and go, well, the one we went to last year was 13 hours away. For Yeah, 13 hours away uh, for me. We ended up flying. Um, well, no, last year we drove because um, I wanted to purchase a lot of stuff from the booth that she had there. So we drove so that we could load the truck up with with stuff. And, and we did. We had a good time. But if there's any way at all that you can let your friends and family know, uh, please let them know. And uh, just my links here on Facebook or go to my website. Uh, I'll start to give you my business that I used to work at, youngatheartcreations.com. All right, guys. Thanks so much. I enjoyed it. Bye-bye.